Welcome to another MAMI video. Today we'll be looking at getting started with a Gizmo G Mini. So we'll go through the basics. Firstly, what you want to do is you want to insert the SIM card in that uh, direction. If it doesn't go in, don't force it. Just make sure that you have it the right way around. Secondly, you want to be sure that this antenna connection is nice and tight. Not over uh, don't over tighten it, but just make sure it's nice and tight. You can just tighten it by hand, that should be sufficient. Then uh, we'll look at the the basic basic connections so you got your ground as you can see here from the the wiring diagram you got your ground your 12 volts or 24 volts input so this is what powers the the gizmo you can use uh, these as a common for your relays but we'll go get to that now and then you got four inputs these inputs can be either positive or negative depending on where the jumper is but again there's a separate video on how we'll how we'll convert it and then you got four relay outputs with, they are normally open and a common. So basically, let's say for example, we'll use a 12 volt common, we'll bridge it out to a common. So from 12 volts, we'll bridge it out to common, which means that if the relay is triggered, it will common out 12 volts. And you can do that for four outputs. So now we'll be looking at a pretty wide example um, we're going to change the inputs to negative. So in this case, I'm going to change two of the inputs to negative. I'm going to start with input one. And we'll also do input three. Okay. So you do that by changing these jumpers. I'll show the example in the camera. So as you can see there, we have a nice diagram that shows if you move the jumpers uh, from the horizontal position to the vertical position. It changes it to a negative input now what's next is you're going to need to power down the unit we need to power we cycle down the unit and then we need to hold down button two button two is the button in the middle of the board if you can't see the label okay so we'll hold that down for two seconds and then done that is converted to a negative input now now we're gonna look at the two options that you get with the Gizmo G Mini. The first option is offline mode. Second option is online mode. In the offline mode, you cannot have it on your app. Um, and in the online mode, you cannot send, S it cannot send SMSs. So you need to choose what feature you like the most and according to that, send your command. So, yeah. So now we'll look at how to add a Gizmo to, a, to the Mission Control app. So first thing you want to do is you want to install the Mission Control app from the Play Store. You can find it by searching for Mission Control Mobile, or you can use the QR code on your manual to find the app. So we'll go into uh, the app. We'll click the plus button. We'll paste in the IMEI number. You can find that on the sticker. Uh, there's a silver sticker on your box and on your gizmo. The hash is always four zeros. Um, just add, added note again, it needs to be put into online mode, otherwise it will say invalid hash. Um, so that's generally a thing that you can look at. If it says invalid hash, you have not sent the online command yet. We'll click add device. It will say add a device successfully. And then you can go uh, do the rest of your settings. Now if you go into automation, you'll see your device is added there. So in this case, we've already given it a name. It's that Gizmo G Mini Demo Unit. Now that you've added your device to the app, we can start looking at some of the features. So what we did here is we added a, we created a little jig just to demonstrate some things. And we've given every output a description. So to demonstrate, uh, we'll turn on the strobe quickly. We'll click on. There's a bit of a delay, but as you can see, it is turned on now. You can turn it off again. There we go. We can turn on the fan. There we go, fan is turned on. You can also pulse it. I'm gonna do that now after it's turned off. So we'll pulse the fan. So it's just a little short pulse. And again, the buzzer, we won't do anything more than pulse. We will now demonstrate how the notifications come through to your phone via push. 
So we've made, as per the previous videos, we've made uh, input one a positive trigger and input two a negative trigger. So I'll demonstrate by triggering input one uh, to positive. There we go. Just unlock my phone. As you can see, it came through over here. It, it will have a new event and a restore because obviously we didn't, yeah, we didn't uh, keep the trigger there. Uh, let's do input two to negative. And as you can see, it has a zone description. So zone one, second one will come through as zone two. Uh, zone two uh, alarm and then zone two restore. So now we'll look at how to change the, the output name description. So you'll go into automation. You'll select the, the device that you want. You'll go to settings. As you can see, currently it's set to strobe, fan, buzzer, 5 volt USB. So let's just call this strobe 1, 2, 3. If you save, you go back out. It will not update yet. You need to go back out and back in again. And then as you can see there, it is now called strobe123.